Welcome to the Oracle at Delphi. Please ask your question. Welcome to your Pick a Card reading today. Our topic for the Pick a Card reading today is what part of my life is on hold and what can I do about it? So how this is going to work out is when I move these pieces of paper, three cards will appear over here on the left side. One, two, and three. If you want to just do it completely blind, you can do it right now. Pick one, two, or three. Or if not, I'm going to reveal the Lenormand cards under there that act as significators for different parts of your life. So, for today's reading of what part of your life is on hold and what can you do about it, we have got cross, which are burdens and difficult things. We have house, which is your home. It can be physically your house. It can be your family, the people in the house, or kind of your, your how you feel secure, because you feel secure in your house. And we have tower. So um, I think for this reading, I'm going to read tower as in this is your, your, uh, your forward looking, your visionary point, you're looking to the future and seeing the big picture. So if you feel like you're on hold in any parts of your life that I've discussed with the burdens, with the home life, with the futuristic vision part of your life, then uh, go ahead and stay tuned. I'll read these lines across from the cards and you know, you can pick one and that's kind of your primary message and then listen to the other ones. Those are secondary messages. So here we go. So for, uh, for the cross, for burdens, you picked number one. The cards we got are the King of Swords, the Queen of Cups, and the Page of Swords. So the, I feel like if you picked this card, uh, then you're, where you're stuck or what part of your life is on hold is around, it, around your family. Because, I mean, this is clearly like... Um, a mother and a father and a child. So there's something in your immediate family and your nuclear family that is burdensome, that is not right, that is not going well right now. Um, so it, you know, I just feel like the focal point here is this Queen of Cups. And so whoever's listening to this, you probably are acting as the Queen of Cups in the, the context of this reading. And so, you know, you're trying to be emotional and connected to a family member or other family members who are acting more in this swords capacity. So swords can be, they can be cold, they can be independent, um, they can be, they could be moody or depressed even. Um, they can be very, you know, swords are an air, so they correspond to air, so, the, you know, they're, they're very logical and they're thinking three things through and they um, want to check off boxes and they want it, you know what I mean? They want it to be, look right on paper or they want to be able to figure it out that way. They want to research and be able to find the answer. And you're coming from a very different um, perspective with the water where it's like you want to connect emotionally. You want to work through things emotionally. You want to kind of like uh, let things go and see where they take you kind of thing. So that's that's the setup of, of where the conflict is and what's causing this, this um, burden here that is um, where you're on hold because you're like, I feel like you're on hold because you're like, I don't know how to deal with this situation. So the advice of how to deal with that situation is the Knight of Cups. So as I said, I felt like this is the focal point of you as the Cups person. So this is saying um, move forward even in an even more strong way with this uh, vision of Cups and this taking action around trying to emotionally connect and trying to feel your way through and let it let the emotions flow and see where they take you. So for what it's worth, that's for those of you who picked uh, number one, the cross. So if you picked number two with the house, which is about 
your home. It could be about your physical home. It could be about security. It, you know, it could be about what makes you feel secure. Um, those type of things. Once again, we have trouble at home. Trouble at home for this uh, reading here. So we've got the Nine of Swords and the Three of Swords. So um, some bad stuff has gone down or is going down at home. And it's very distressing to you. And you are not in a good place with all this. Um, and it's upsetting. And I, I, I think this... Well, you know, with the Queen of Cups here, I'm, I'm going to say that what all this this strife and disappointment and nightmares and sorrow, I mean, it's all been about, it's been about um, your, your values um, and maybe you feel like your values aren't appreciated or they aren't, they don't count or some, something with the values and maybe even you're at the point where you're questioning your, your values. So um and it could be about like somebody disappointed you because you wanted them to actually do something which would be like the pentacles but they didn't do they didn't actually follow through um and do it and you know it, it's upsetting to you because like i said it, it, you really either held that person in high esteem or you really needed that thing to get done and it was very valuable to you to have that done and it didn't happen so that's where i'm going with that so the advice around that is the King of Pentacles. So um, I would say perhaps this person that has disappointed you could come around and actually follow through if you, if you give them um, a second chance. Or it could mean too that it's like you need to step up even a little bit higher in your, you know, you've been holding your values and you need to step up even a little bit higher like into the king position there and take some action around fulfilling those values, you know, for your for yourself. Because the queen is, is a receptive energy and the king is an active energy. So, you know, take more action around fulfilling those values that are so important to you at home. You know what I mean? So these are like, these are kind of like, I think these are like core values. I mean, the things that are very important to you. Like, I, you know what I mean? I, I need to have my bills paid so I can sleep at night. I need to have people that follow through on what they say. I need, um, I need to feel appreciated or I need to, uh, you know, there's all kinds of things. You're going to have to go through it and figure it out, but that's, that's that line with uh, number two, the house. If you picked number three, the tower, um, and I said, like I said, I'm going to go with the tower being kind of like your 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 big picture story, your new horizons. So um, this part of your life is on hold if you pick this card. Um, I think because you have such a big creative vision for yourself and such a push to do creative work whether it's actually like being an artist being a music musician or just living your life in a totally creative way like that's so it's so big that um maybe you don't see the first step or maybe you don't see how you could possibly bring this creative vision for your life um, to your life. So the advice is the hangman. So that's saying sit with it some more. Like it's it's on hold right now. It's probably going to be on hold for a while longer. So you need to sit with it and let it stew and let it come to you how you're going to bring this um, vision to life. And with the hangman too, sometimes, you know, you need to like switch your perspective on things. So maybe you've been looking at it one way. So maybe you can kind of flip the script and look at it another way. That could be part of the thing with ha the hangman. But, you know, basically like have faith and just stay with it. Just stay with it and just let it kind of incubate in your heart. And eventually it'll get to the, a point where you can bring this creative vision to life but this is like 
this is pretty huge. I feel like this is a, feel like you really have a really huge, strong vision. So just keep holding that vision. That's what I would say to you. So uh, thank you for letting me read for you today. And remember, coincidence is the God's way of staying anonymous. Mm -hmm.